is all we have left. And I don't want to die here alone.
world out there, Artyom. I want to dream. It comes every night without fear. There are different people every time. Let's get this done quickly. Get whatever the warden want and get home. But I recognize them somehow. What the hell is this place? They're screaming at me. I don't hear them, but I know they're screaming. You got anything? Such hate and anger. I hope you bastards are looking up once in a while. Those fuckers might be anywhere. I don't know what I have done to them. This place is so damn dark. Sleepers. They want me to feel what they feel. This is good, man. This is good stuff. It'll trade. Everything trades. Oh, fuck. To be honest, any second. Keep your eyes on that door. Ah, shit. There's fucking loads of them. I wake up. I'm not sweating or screaming. I'm perfectly calm. I just open my eyes and I'm awake. And it's not a nightmare. It's just part of me, who I am. I don't fight it. I just live around it. What the hell? The truth about survival. We try to save our families. Fight back the madness. Hold back the corruption. Too late. It's all gone. Destroyed. The only thing left to give? Your life. While you're living in D.C., we have to set some ground rules when your brother comes to stay with you. I've been patient with you, Aiden. We need those schematics by 10 a.m. tomorrow, or else we need... Mark, is your responsibility. 
Come on, Aiden. Aiden, this is your mother. Pick up the phone. Aiden, pick up the phone, man. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. 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 That guy on the ground. Okay, let's connect with the boss. Uh, spider, uh, barn, hay balls on the roof or something. Be done by now. Uh, Did you say hay balls? Hay balls. I'm pretty sure it's hay bales. Balls. That's, that's what they're actually called. Popkins pig farm. Let's just move. Yeah, we'll go and check out those hay balls. <laughs> to reload a bit. Let's just go, we'll go fast around here so we don't get trapped. Head to the right. There's a meathead. I don't see if there's, there's some leech here. There's a few left, yeah. Leech is on the floor. Let's just move in, let's move in. Seems to me a little bit far away. I go up the stairs. Or do you go up the stairs? Ah, okay, he's right here. Oh, get him, get him. I got someone hit. I don't see him at all. Back corner. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Shoot, 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 shoot. Dead, you dead. got him, perfect, perfect, perfect. Cool. Alright, uh, get banishing. I'm starting to banish. Okay. Check the map. Just checking out all the entrances to shut. Alright. Everybody will see where we are now and we're gonna get here. Okay, quick, quick, quick. There was a. I think I killed a zombie, I'm not sure. Okay, there was a guy coming in from my side. Uh, I need to bam this, I'm almost gone. Here. He's in, he's in the center. He's dead, one dead, one dead. There's one more. Okay, banishing is almost done. We are ready to move in one second. Let me hear my little. Try to get his friend up. Okay, he's in hell. Let's go. You I got gotta, it? I gotta pick up the bounty. Alright, let's go. There's a player, there's a player, there's a player. You should use your submission, let me kill him. Down. Quick, quick, the other guys are still behind us. Alright, let's get going. What would you do if the world you knew was gone? All the comforts. The simple pleasures you took for granted. How would you protect yourself and the ones you love? When the
protectors. Can't even save themselves. The army's pulling out. Come on! Truck, get in. Want some of this? How about you? How will you decide who belongs? Choose a place to call home. How will you build it? Work together to defend it. From the terror. Just outside the walls. Last year is an asymmetrical multiplayer horror game where one killer has to hunt down a group of teenagers. I'm playing as the Slasher, one of three playable killers that ships with the game. The game is set on Halloween night in 1996. We've been meticulously crafting a universe that draws you in and puts you in the center of your own 90s horror film. Survivors can actually fight back with weapons, so being the killer means you need to be smart and creative with how you attack your victims. One of the best ways to do this is with predator mode. This lets the killer unspawn and turn invisible at any time. The killer can then move extremely fast, completely invisible to the other players, and use this to plan the perfect ambush or toy with the survivors. To spawn in or out, the killer has to be out of sight or use the environment as a spawn point. There's a couple of survivors now. It looks like Chad and Troy. They might actually have weapons already, so it could be risky to try and attack two people head on. What I'll do is unspawn and look before I plan my attack. First, I'll place a trap here. Last year is filled with different environmental spots, like this trap door that the killer can use to separate survivors from one another. Now I'm going to actually use that skylight up there as my spawn point. Now that I've trapped him, I'm going to go in for the kill. We hope you enjoyed this preview of last year. We look forward to sharing more gameplay features with you in the future. We're trapped on this bridge. There's an escape route. Okay, I think we're safe. As you move around the caves and tunnels that these creatures inhabit, you'll see what humans have done to your kind over the years. Sneak to safety. Now, one of the things about being a young creature is that you're, you can crawl 
into spaces that no human could follow. Now this huge cave, with the mysterious tree, is one of the last few places of refuge in the world for creatures like you. So that's the world through the eyes of a young creature, running away from even the weakest human. Now we're going to go forward in time and see the world through the eyes of a larger, more powerful adolescent creature, and see what they're capable of doing. Sin. Free them that they may know my. Yara. Where is the other apostate? your backs.
most obvious difference so far is it's the last one was nighttime during the rain and this is daytime during the snow. Yeah, and that you know, and, that, and it's not just cosmetic, and I think that's one of the things we really wanted to emphasize. You know, because this 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 time we're showing sort of a day in the life of Deacon. You see, he's on the drifter bike here. Um, we wanted to show a little more of the bike riding and how the weather can kind of impact that. So we yeah. have this drifting mechanic, right? You see him right. kind of slipping and sliding around a little Changes bit. Changes the handling. Of the bike. Um, that's really interesting. Now there were wolves there last time, John, and these wolves would pursue you down this road, and then Deacon had to turn his back, shoot a wolf. And he got clotheslined clothesline. right yeah, up there, yeah, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, exactly. So this time you see that he wasn't being chased by the wolves. That's a dynamic event that can just, that just, you know, it's just a, that can happen or not. It just depends on, on when you're playing the game. Interesting. And this yeah. time Deacon saw the ambush and he was able to avoid it. So he kind of comes up and around and behind them. So does weather impacts whether these creatures show up or not in daytime, nighttime, all that stuff? Yeah, absolutely. So especially the freakers, they come out. They're mostly nocturnal, but they will come out as the weather gets colder. They become stronger in the cold. Right. And so that will, you know, again, kind of change up the way the game plays. That's very, very... Uh, I, I kind of love that you decided to do this as a demo to show two completely different iterations on the same exact mission in the game. Yes, exactly. So we wanted to have, uh, you know, this. the job is basically the same. Deacon hears that his buddy's in trouble, mm -hmm. rides out to save his life, and, you know, as you can see here, this is a completely different experience from what we showed in the first demo. In the first one, Deacon gets clotheslined, um, and it sounded very painful, by the way. Oh, that. that looks, speaking of painful, um, okay, so <laughs> the combat in this game is fairly brutal. John, you want to talk about that a little well, bit? Well, we just wanted to make it as, you know, as realistic as possible. So, yeah, we're not holding back on that at all. Um, and, you know, and Sam's done most of his own stunt work for this. And I can tell you that when we're on the performance stage and we're capturing that stuff, we just try to make, keep it real, right? Right, right. Well, um, right, there, there was sort of a decision made at some point. Whole arsenal of weapons. You see there's a variety of weapons that Deacon's going to use through this, including the crossbow, you know, he crafts his own bolts. Um, and, you know, he's got he's to figure out how to get up to Manny uh, just, you know, using his combat skills right. instead of doing it strategically. So straighten me out, those, those bonfires, were those there in the previous demo? No, they weren't, right? So that's another big difference is that if you come here during the day, you know, it's like in the, in the media showcase demo, there was like kind of a fight club thing going right, on. Right, they were... They were punching each other and everybody was just sort of getting into it. Nobody's really paying yeah, attention it, to what's it, going on. Yeah. And now it's getting dark and it's cold out. So, you know, they've built these bonfires. So... You know, and again, it's just, it, it's not just a cosmetic change in the way the... Well, it's the, cold, right? Yeah, it's, they, it's because it's they cold. They have to build some... So it yeah. changes the way the, the, the marauders behave in the level. Mm -hmm. well, that's very... Again, this is part of the reason why I love that you did this as a demo, because the, the, the behavior of all of these things, not just the freakers, but the marauders, everything, there's a logic to it. You can track why they're doing the things that they're doing. Um, and you can use it to your advantage in the gameplay. That's, that's kind of what I like about this so much. I always like to exceed. Always love strong sensations. I experimented with everything. I was never an addict, just more of an adrenaline junkie. My crowd was always the people living on the edge. Still, nothing could have prepared me for what happened on that island. Dizzy. Where am I? I thought I would die down there. I can't remember anything. people out of business with my dealings, you know? But for what purpose? Rose, is that you? 